The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Abbas Tajani, says the National Assembly will play an active role in the enactment of next National Action Plan on Violence Against Women. Right Honorable Abbas gave his assurance at the flag of the 16 days activism against all forms of violence inhibiting women and the girl child in Nigeria. Plus TV's Emmanuel Hegene reports that the 16 days of activism is calling for action against gender-based violence, which has been described as one of the world's most persistent violations of human rights. The leadership of the House, comprising the Speaker and all the principal officers assured Nigerian women that attend assembly will enact the next national action plan on violence against women while advocating for women inclusion and end to women-related violence. Report that for every 10 minutes, a woman is being killed across the world. This is an unacceptable trend. This is an unforgivable trend. We in the parliament must have to unite more than ever before with relevant authorities, particularly the law enforcement, in ensuring that we cut this dangerous trend to the barest minimum. I want to say it categorically clear here that the National Assembly will do everything humanly possible to ensure that all forms of violence against women and girls are drastically reduced, if not completely eliminated, in the very near future. From the National Assembly complex, the members had an awareness march through the streets of Abuja straight to Louis Adet House, where a petition on a call to action was handed over to Inspector General of Police Kayode Betokon, Chairman House Committee on Women Affairs Kafilat Ogbara, who handed the letter to the IGP, says the police must prosecute and achieve, suc and achieve justice for victims of gender-based violence. The House of Representatives, under the, lead, under the leadership of Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas and Right Honorable Benjamin Kalu, have united in one voice to say that there is no excuse for violence against our women and our girls. They are our mothers, they are our daughters, they are our family. They care for us, they nurture us. Why should we violate them? We are saying no to lecturers, violating students, that they will fail them if they, they, if they do not yield in. We are saying no to bosses at work for violating their secretaries, their staff, that if they do not yield in, they will sack them. We are saying no to all forms of violence against our children and our girls. In his response, the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Betokun, while receiving the petition on behalf of the Nigerian police, assured Nigerian women that all cases of gender-based violence will be pursued to a logical conclusion. The wife of the Speaker, Fatima Tajuddin, expressed optimism that with the support received so far, she is convinced that gender violence against women and the girl child will be a thing of the past. There are some areas where the tradition also abuses the rights of women. We have, we have cases of gender mutilation, um, genital mutilation, yes, and, and others like that. So it is a collective effort that we must all fight. We must all come together and put our actions together to eradicate this unacceptable reality in our communities. That one in three women in Nigeria has, has experienced some form of violence. This position is a call to action, urging the Nigerian police force to take concrete steps to address this critical issue. We request that the police should increase the number of gender desks in police stations across the country to provide a safe and supportive environment for survivors of gender-based violence. Activism against gender-based violence is celebrated every 25th of November and ends on the 10th of December. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.